Folks, come on over. I'm doing the staircase. I know you'll want to see it. Right here on my take on Home and Garden. You know, those bells are so real. When I hear them on the video, I think someone else is coming. I mean, <laughs> just so good. Hey, we're gonna have fun. We're doing the staircase today in our different olive greens and white mistletoe frozen frosty theme this year. Now let's take a look at what I've done so far. I'm gonna get you up close so you can see, but I wanna show you the basics of what I'm doing. So you know we picked up the new mistletoe garland this year at the Hobby Lobby. And let's see, uh, this is seven foot, okay? And as you can tell, I put one looped on and if you've been here before you know the story but if you haven't it's going to be new we got 10 spindles to do in between each swag okay that's the hang and the swag of it and we're going to pay attention to our drop which is here and one, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna pull that down and tie that as well. And I see it's a little short. Now that'll pull down. Okay, so I think you get the basic idea. Here is the big swag that's available in the stores. And you already have berries, a beautiful ornament, frosted pine cones, and frozen stems along with your pine this is like a white pine and it's frozen okay so this is what i'm using to pick up the center where the junction of the swags meet now the other thing i want to mention is on the inside of the staircase i'm doing the same thing i love that look it's more full rich and extreme I guess to change our whole act here I had to buy six garland then on the end I have these two swags like this it's a wonderful big wisp of pine with pine cone and berries and those are going to get attached to the end newel post I've got the six garland swagging down we've got our made up swags in the middle four on each side now the next thing you know we gotta cover our tops and make them look good that's gonna start helping us cover the ties and the mess at the top so we're building this cluster and I like things to hang rather than stick up and look like Martian plants, you know. Uh, gravity's gonna make it hang. So I put a hook on the end of this and I'm just gonna get up in there until she hooks by itself. Just about where I want it. If you had company, you're gonna be sitting on this side we will want a whisper of red berries for realism and break up some of that bling okay guys now i found a couple more things that i want to use before i get ahead of myself i'm going to put on these little mini leds they go up one side and down the other and they are computerized so I can set them to what I like so 
I'm gonna get this done for you first. Okay guys, we've got the set of LED lights strung up and back on our swags around the newel post swag and now I'm going to work on hiding some of this wire. Even though this wire is black, it has served us well for the last two years that we've had it and we're going to link that in the description box for you too. And we're going to cover some more of this newel post and the wire will be way underneath now. And let's leave one end because we're going to have more to add to finish this post area. Now our poinsettias are going to do most of the work and we have only a couple that had leaves on the white one. Yeah, this white wisteria, I'm thinking, because I'm going to use the other one, but those are multicolored. Just really want to add this element in here. Okay, now we don't want to lose our cones, but look at this. Oh man, look at this look. Like I said, any flower should pick in like this from the top. Now this is how we're going to hide our ugly junction and wire bundle here. You can see this. This is the real finish. So we'll get a white on each side. Let's go with our velvety sage in here on this side and we'll touch that up if, if it needs in our lighter piece over here. Now I don't want to lose those wonderful white cones so that's what I'm looking at. The berries either. I've got these cute big leaf picks and we're going to want to make this newel post just a little different because it is the only one like it on the staircase. So we're going to go with a couple of these big leaf, slightly whimsical, little golden. And then what do we got? We got our wonderful cluster balls. And here I'm just hiding wire and moving things a little bit. And I want you to know that I added this incredible ornament in the sage green and this beauty in the gold. Now so we don't look like some stiff uncaring <laughs> no heart store with full of mannequins. We're going to put in some color. Just because our display is frozen and cold, we want red berries too. All right, I'm going to catch this all up for you and then take you and show you all around. Okay guys, so let's check out our garland for Christmas today. Now I must say, I love the mistletoe garland, but I felt it was a bit thin. And with the new LED lights, the cord was really dark. And it wasn't working like I thought with just the mistletoe. Frankly, they don't have a light green cord, I, I don't know. So, make a long story short, I put in one strand of boxwood with the mistletoe garland. Now I love it again. I think you'll agree. A 
I'd love to do a cluster at the junction of the swags. And of course, I want them extreme and over the top. <laughs> we'll go up the stairs as well. Get in nice and close. So you can see all the elements from store to finish. And again, I love the drama of the wisteria. You have to be careful when you're working with white so it doesn't look like a wedding venue. But when you use it with other elements, I think it's quite good. Now we can see that we're all done up the inside as well. It's kind of an advanced garland, if you will. You know, everyone isn't going to start out to be able to do two sides. It takes quite a bit. It's something to work towards, save toward. And I think you can see why you might want to. guys thanks for coming by hey i've got a smile on my face because i've got a two-day project all done under my belt it's a big one happy decorating get your planning on get your stuff in the house and make you smile stretch that season out why not <laughs> take care now everybody Check out those stores and you'll love it. 
be good, and we'll see you in the next amazing off the chain, over the top, up the staircase, incredible, beautiful decorator video. And Christmas extraordinaire.